If this lady faced one second of what animals have to go through so they can be part of the diet, she frustrates the hell out of me. It's people like this who are running the world into the ground. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be reacting to a BBC Three mini documentary video here called Is It Ethical to Hunt Whales with Stacey Dooley. Now, Stacey Dooley, I did a little search about her. So before we get into it, I just wanna show you this tweet that she put up here in July 22nd, 2018. She says, this guy comparing eating meat to the slave trade. Cool story, bro. And she's got a face palm emoji there. Now, this was around the time I was campaigning in the UK. I started my campaigning in the UK January, and there was a lot of like uh, articles and news uh, sort of appearances and, you know, uh, a lot of media that I got. And I have been known to call what animals go for uh, through slavery or they're enslaved. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if she's, if she's referring to me here, but it, she possibly could be. Um, but it's interesting, like, comparing eating meat to the slave trade. Um, well, you can compare enslaving animals to the slave trade. Now, the action of eating the meat, well, I don't know what you're trying to get out there. Eating meat is eating meat, but you're paying for the enslavement of animals. And it's interesting with this comparing eating meat to the slave trade, like, it's just so ridiculous. Like, they think that slavery only applies to one subset of human beings that were enslaved in one point at one point in time. Slavery is an action to start with. It's an action... You can... In, someone could enslave me. Uh, you know, like, child sex slavery? That's a thing. Is it not slavery because they're actually children, you know, white children that are being enslaved. Slavery can also apply to animals. Uh, why can't you enslave a cow to produce milk to take away their freedom and to cut them up into pieces and use their body? I mean, so yeah, if you're mass breeding animals, taking away their rights, their body, bodily autonomy, you know, cutting them up into pieces to serve us. Um, egg laying hens are a good example. As if they're not enslaved. Look at them, they're in battery cages, just being treated like nothing. So like, cool story, bro. Yeah, nah, it is, it's very comparable. I mean, there's no need to compare the victims of, you know, not saying like, human beings that are victims of slavery are the same as chickens who are victims of slavery. But again, slavery is an action, just like killing is an action. You can kill a chicken, you can kill a person. I mean, Stacey Dooley has this, this was in 2018. I don't know if her position has changed on this. People say, oh, this is offensive. Uh, you know, he's mad. Anyway, let's get straight into the video here. These pilot whales should just be left alone. They don't need to be killed. People Wow, very good point. Uh, all animals should be left alone uh, in the meat industry. They don't need to be killed for their flesh, that's for sure. Uh, they don't need to be killed for their dairy, that's for sure. They don't need to be ex mass exploited on a massive scale, not just pilot whales, but all animals. Sea blood. No, it's not pretty to watch, but it's easier to go to the supermarket and buy a beef without seeing the slaughter. Wow, she's uh, dropping truth bombs there. So let's just replay, replay that. No, it's not to be left alone. They don't need to be killed. People don't like it when it's sea blood. No, it's not pretty to watch, but it's easier to go to the supermarket and buy a beef without seeing the slaughter. Well, she's talking about the disconnect there. Very interesting. So she's saying, oh, people don't like to see the blood from the pilot whales being hunted, but it's easy to go to the supermarket and buy beef without seeing the slaughter. Okay, so they're talking about the disconnect. Is there still a space for, wha for whale hunting in today's world? Whale hunting is a thousand year old tradition here, known as the Grind. It's the killing of pilot whales and some white-sided and bottled-nosed dolphins, none of which are on the endangered list. It's interesting, like, uh, the, oh, look at the killing bottle-nosed bottle what dolphins and, you know, whales and things like that. They're just like, oh, my God, this is horrible. When you buy tuna or fish, like, how many dolphins and small whales and sharks and, you know, turtles are caught up in the nets and, you know, hundreds of thousands a year? You know, it's called bycatch and just like collateral damage, you know, from fishing. Basically, those big trawling nets rip up everything in the, in its path and, and all those nets that get discarded get tangled up into sea life. But, you know, you're worried about the hunting, but you'll go out and eat, you'll go out and eat some fish from the shop, you know, which causes the same sort of problem and suffering. Okay, so they're using a spinal lance to kill 
the whale so it's this driving like a big like a spear into the um the spine of the 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 whale interesting because i don't know if you've ever seen footage of fish being caught on and stabbed in the head it's the same thing but they're just a different species i mean how many fish are being hooked in the face and stabbed in the head you know on the boat uh, just countless fish are the most exploited animal on earth but these fish are whales so this is that speciesism we're talking about because these these are a particular type of sea animal they matter more morally so this is more offensive than just eating a tuna if we were not eating whales that means that we have to eat more of other meat this is an uh, environmental friendly uh, way how to uh, feed ourselves <laughs> wow if we're not eating whales then we'd have to eat some other type of meat no you could just eat vegan you know what I mean? This is a very environmentally friendly way of getting whales. I don't care if it's environmentally friendly. This is where the environment and ethics overlap. Do you see what I mean? This is why veganism is about the animals. It's an animal rights movement. It's uh, environment are different, and environment and health are different topics. Because this is what why? <laughs> because you could say, well, it's environmentally friendly to hunt down these whales. More environmentally friendly than beef. That's for sure. And you know, we could agree. We could agree on that. I don't care. I think it's horrific animal abuse and it's murder you know and it's not like oh we could either eat whales or eat you know environmentally unfriendly beef or whatever other animal it's why don't you just eat some tofu i mean where are you you can't they don't they're not growing fruits and vegetables there they're not importing any fruits and vegetables there that you can just eat like the environment's a different topic to the ethics of killing animals here Faroese, the grind is simply about using what nature provides, but not everyone. Oh, you know what? Nature provides humans. Should we use humans? Because we're just using what nature provides. What a disgusting argument, appealing to nature. The Sea Shepherds, one of the largest marine conservation groups in the world, have been coming here since the 80s to protest against cool. the grind. Their approach has been to block and disrupt the hunts. Go see After Shepherd. many arrests and a legal ban stopping them from getting involved, they now post graphic images on social media to show what happens at the Grind. Okay, so they tried to stop, disrupt, do, the, do their direct action. It's funny how the people who are trying to stop the animal abuse and cruelty are being arrested. Like, you know, imagine if they were humans being rallied up and murdered and the ones who were trying to save the humans were being arrested. You just think that this is some type of Nazi dictatorship or something like that. But, you know, good work, Sea Shepherd. But now what they found is to be more effective is to just show the public what's going on here. Show the public what's going on to these uh, animals here. And look at them. Look at these whales all lined up being stabbed in the throat. But yeah, like these whales, they are special animals. But these same people who would be against the hunting and killing of these whales are eating sea life every second day or something probably d dining down on you know fish that's been dragged out the ocean and suffered so I smell hypocrisy there hasn't been a grind while I've been here so I want to talk to Sea Shepherd volunteers Sarah and Wayne who saw one 10 days ago are you happy to show me what went on that day yeah. I kind of focused on that particular pilot whale at that point and oh. the pilot whale was really really struggling so they made numerous attempts to use the spinal lance and you mm -hmm. kind of saw the blood come out. They just kept going back and like cutting more and more into the pilot whale and they say, I think it's a couple of seconds, isn't it, that if the spinal lance is used correctly, but it has any studies been done about how correctly it is being used and is, is anyone monitoring this? I mean, we've seen dolphins and pilot whales have been left in the water kind of like in a spasm. I mean... Correctly used or not, I mean, obviously we don't want animals to suffer, but we don't want them to be murdered either. So this spinal lance thing, like, I don't want it to be correctly used on me either. But, like, the fact, what what the lady from Sea Shepherd here is saying is that they're claiming it's quick, you know, and humane, but they're struggling and suffering and dying. I mean, having a spear put into your back is probably not the quickest way to go. And even if it was, we would not approve. Now, Stacey Dooley's just... Looking, like, very intrigued here. But I don't know if Stacey Dooley's a vegan. Um, like we looked at her Twitter post before, you know, she seems a little bit 
um, condescending about certain comparisons. I wonder if she'd have a problem with comparing spinal lancing a whale to spinal lancing a human or spinal lancing a dog. A dog. Could you say, oh no, you can't spinal lance a whale because you can only spinal lance a human because spinal lancing only applies to humans. It's like, you can't enslave an animal. Slavery only applies to humans. No, slavery is an action. Anyways, she probably eats fish. She, she might not. She might be a vegetarian. I don't know, but if she's a vegetarian, she's supporting the horrors of the egg industry and the dairy industry and the leather industry and the wool industry and all these other industries. Uh, I don't know if she's a vegan. I couldn't find anything. Prove me wrong, Stacey, but otherwise I'm going to assume that you're a flesh eater paying for the same animal abuse that is in this video. It's probably the most difficult thing that I've ever had to do, really. For her, it's very straightforward. Oh There's just no place for this, but... We also need to bear in mind that, you know, this is not our country. Yeah. And have you seen what goes on in your country? Absolute horrific animal abuse, factory farming, disgusting slaughterhouses. Some of the worst animal abuse I've ever seen has been in the UK. Watch Land of Hope and Glory. Look at Viva's, uh, the Viva Charity's recent expose we did the last video on. You know, UK is a very, very hellish place for animals. This is not our culture. Some would argue this is not any of our business. Well, you know what? They've got a pretty good leg to stand on, seeing as your country, England, is abusing animals, you know, by the bill, like, let's just say a billion a year. <laughs> You're killing a billion animals a year. You can't really point the finger at other countries there, can you? You know, maybe if you're a vegan country, you know, then you could start, we could start pointing the finger. But, you know, they'd be correct in saying, like, what right do you have to tell us not to kill these fish or these sea animals um, uh, when you guys are killing, you know, a billion animals a year over there? Stacey's going to meet a farmer's daughter. She get fresh eggs every day. Yeah. yeah. So it's really good. Oh, wow, look, she's got these backyard chickens here. This must be where all eggs come from. Obviously not. Uh, most eggs are coming from factory farms in the UK. Have you ever helped your father um, slaughter the sheep? Yeah. I have sheep myself also now. You do? Mm hmm I kill. God bless those poor sheep. Someone save them. One last year, all by myself. How do you kill a sheep? You shoot it. Really? Yeah. With, like, a... Spear actually thing going on straight into the brain. Oh, wow. Boom, it dies. Yeah, she's talking about bolt gunning a sheep in the skull. Boom, it dies. Right, got you. I mean, I can see where they're going with this. Are they trying to point out the fact that the UK can't really point the finger at whale hunting societies because, you know, this lady kills sheep with a spear to the brain? Kind of like the spinal lance that they're doing to those poor, poor whales. I don't know, let's keep what going. Yeah. How involved do you like to get with the grins? So I never killed a whale. I'm almost mostly on the sea. But when we cut the meat up, so it was me and my brother Heine. We cut the whale up and do it into parts. Do so you eat the meat yourself? Yeah, I love it. It's really good. Why? Oh wait, no. This lady is actually This way this lady's not from this lady's from the same place that kill and hunt the whales, so she eats the whales and she eats the sheep. Why? Do you think there is so much outrage and so much resistance? People don't like it when they see blood or animals getting killed. It's like, no, it's not pretty to watch, but it's easier to go to the supermarket and buy a beef without seeing the slaughter. Because... I think they're both wrong. <laughs> I think they're both wrong. Like, she's... Uh, like, yeah, you're more hands-on with it, but that makes you a little less sensitive and a little more disturbed to be able to just... and a little more conditioned to killing. You know, but going to the supermarket and paying for the, the murder unknowingly is bad too. I <laughs> think they're both bad. You can avoid both, both of them. There are people telling you what to do. Does that make you dig your heels in even more? I think so, with especially the younger ones. At my age, also a little younger. Like, I want to be a part of this, a fairies tradition. We are fairies people. So, yeah. You want to be part of a tradition? Hey, you know what was traditional? Slavery. Human slavery. Um, you know... Do you want to be a part of that? Racism has been pretty traditional. Do you want to be a part of that? Like, just because something's traditional doesn't mean it should be continued. You know, like, what does tradition really mean? Let's just get the definition of it. 
Here we go. Tradition. The transmission of customs or beliefs from generation to generation or the fact of being passed in on in this way. <laughs> the fact of being passed on in this way. So it's basically um, the transmission of customs or beliefs from generation to generation. Wow. So customs or beliefs, that could be uh, the belief that men matter more than women or that homosexuals should be outcast and or that, you know, uh, black people should go out to the fields and do work for white people. Like, who the hell cares if it's traditional? We want to know if it's moral and whether it should be continued. Same with the animal, animal context. I don't care if it's traditional for you to have a turkey on, on, on a Sunday or a turkey at Christmas or, you know, go out and hunt pilot whales or, you know, the tradition of killing animals for food. I don't care if it's traditional. Many traditions are completely evil and should be completely abolished. We've been sent footage taken by the Sea Shepherds. So if you're happy to watch it, that would be really useful for us. It's almost like she's doing vegan activism. You know how I go out and show people slaughterhouse footage or like stand on the street showing slaughterhouse footage. She's showing her that the whale's being hunted. I wonder if she'd go, oh, like she'd be that type of person to go, oh, these vegans are extreme. They shouldn't be showing this footage on the street. It's not the right way to go about it. Like, I love my steak. I need my protein. But when it comes to these whales being hunted, hey, I want to show you some footage of this. Hey, you want to see this? Like, <sighs> he's a dolphin. Yeah, and this is the dolphin. So we see him using that instrument. Yeah. And then we see another guy with a knife, we're 50 seconds in, and it's still alive, mm. and he's soaring. It's thrashing. Well, you know what, I've seen Slaughter's house footage where 50 seconds in, the animal's still thrashing and bleeding out their throat, so why don't you check your own backyard? Near his neck, yeah. and it's still yeah. alive. And I've been told time and time again that, you know, the animals don't suffer, and you know, it's very humane, and... <laughs> oh my God, hey Stacy. Welcome to the propaganda of your own bloody country, Red Tractor, RSPCA, uh, oh, you know, humane slaughter. I've been told they, they they don't suffer. You know what you should do, Stacey? Look at your own industries in your own country. They tell you the same lies and they commit the same atrocities except to different species of animals. And, you know, it's very humane and they're dead within seconds. And this just contradicts all of that. I, I agree with you that that's not a good example and something... This is not as effective as it should be. Is this... Effective? It shouldn't be happening. Oh. So, oh my God, is she going to go into the, oh, in, in, you know, the UK or whatever, like, we effectively stun the animals and it's much more humane? God. Is this cruel? It looks cruel. I concede that um, for people who haven't seen the images before and don't understand the context. There can be too much suffering for individual animals in some cases, but it is a... It looks cruel. There can be too much suffering for some individual animals in some cases. You could say that about killing people. Oh, some people have, you know, I just killed 30 people. Like, you know, boom, boom, boom. Oh, those ones, they died really quickly. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Those ones suffered a little more than others. But it doesn't give you the whole view of it. You know, see, some died quick. Some suffered more. You shouldn't be killing humans anyway. You shouldn't be killing the whales. You shouldn't be killing the fish. You shouldn't be killing the pigs. You shouldn't be killing the cows. That is why these welfare advocates sound insane. <laughs> They just sound insane and they're just so confused. They're like, oh, you know, humane slaughter the animals, though they suffer, but they don't deserve to live. We can enslave them as long as we do it nicely. People who haven't seen the images before and don't understand the context. There can be too much suffering for individual animals in some cases, but it is a slaughter of wild animals in an uncontrolled environment. So it's never going to be completely clinical, like uh, it might be in a, in a slaughterhouse. Oh, she went there. She went there. Clinical slaughter in a slaughterhouse. Well, what about the gas chambers? That doesn't look very clinical. It looks quite horrific. You know, have you ever seen um, halal or kosher slaughter? It's just having their throats slashed open and just bleeding out. Um, you know, bolt guns that don't work on cows' thick skulls and, you know, just chickens being ran through an electric bath and slashed across the throat or 70 percent of the, the chickens in the uk are gas chambered too doesn't look very clinical looks like they're suffering in a dungeon you know like dark cell filled with co2 clinical slaughterhouses are bloodbaths 
Just because something is part of your identity, part of your culture, does it mean that you can still use that to justify, in some instances, torturing and killing mammals? Sure. Wow. Stacey, are, you, is, are we sure Stacey isn't a vegan? Maybe um, she watched enough vegan debates because it seems like, you know, that, that tweet about this, you know, uh, comparing eating meat to the slave trade. It seems like that she'd watched a vegan debate or two in her time. Maybe she's got the old idea of culture not dictating morality. Let's continue. There's, I've got high hopes for Stacey. Sure, it's a tradition, but it's a form of food production. You have to remember that. It's a local reason. <laughs> Oh my god. Sure it's a tradition and you know traditions are sometimes horrifically medievally cruel and abusive and murderous, you know, like but it's also a form of food production. Hey, you know what? You see that dog there? I'm going to slash their head off. It's a form of food production. Hey, you see that child over there? I'm going to spear them in the spine and eat them. It's a form of food production. Hey, you see that elephant over there? I'm going to shoot them in the head and cut their head off and eat their body. It's a form of food production. Don't use your nonsense euphemisms here. It's a cruel, disgusting, torturous abuse what's happening to these whales. And no euphemism you can use can make it look any better or feel any better to the animal. It's horrible. Food production, that's a new one. It's actually a murder, but it's... Hunting animals is now food production, I don't know. It's a local resource. It's part of the diet. And it, had it not been a part of the diet, it wouldn't take place. It's as simple as that. It's not a sport. <sighs> How does that justify it? It's part of the diet. Had it not been part of the diet, it wouldn't take place. Well, hey... You, you think that now, because it's part of the diet, it can't be taken out of the diet and you can just leave the animals alone? How about that? How about that? Like, oh my god, it's part of the diet. Had it not been part of the diet, it wouldn't have taken place. Oh, you know what? That person there, ch -ch boom, part of my diet. Had he not been part of my diet, this murder wouldn't have taken place. It's food production. Man, this lady is just a brainwashed imbecile. And you know, she frustrates the hell out of me. It's people like this who are running the world into the ground. You know, all these euphemisms, oh, it could be quicker. They should cut off their head quicker. You know what? Like, if this lady faced one second of what animals have to go through so they can be part of the diet, she'd be terrified into change. This lady terrified into change. So where's the empathy in this lady's cold heart? She's just not, ex she's got this thick skin and this real intellectual mind with no empathy like she doesn't know how to think through ethics she just has no moral bone in her body it's a way of getting food for the family okay so in yulin china where they throw dogs in uh boiling hot water while they're fully conscious um that's part of their diet so therefore like it had would not have been taking place if it wasn't part of the diet so let's just throw dogs in boiling water because it's part of the diet you know, it's not taking place unless we're eating them, but it's a way of their family getting food. That's all it is. No, it's not. It's animal abuse. They can eat other things. You can eat other things. So much has gone into making sure that the kill is over within seconds. We know that's not true in every instance. If we are taking life, we need to make sure that we're doing it responsibly. Anything else? So all my faith has gone out the window with Stacey here. Before she said something that was half logical, but now she's saying something that's just nonsense. If you're going to take life, take it responsibly. You do not needlessly take the lives of animals, okay? You can't do it in a responsible way. You can't murder animals in a responsible way. I can't murder you and take your life in a responsible way if you want to live. That is always going to be wrong. If animals don't want to die, it's irresponsible just to walk up and murder them or to mass breed them. So I'm sure, Stacey, she must be a vegan after this. Um, if she's not, she's a massive hypocrite with a huge double standard for whales. She probably eats fish out the ocean. You know, and these fish are getting dragged in by trawling nets, hooked in the face, dumped onto boats, they suffocate on top of each other. You know, all of the bycatch that happens as well. Hundreds of thousands of animals a year, species like dolphins and small whales and uh, sharks and turtles and all of these other seals and animals caught up in the nets. So she's supporting all of that. Uh, if she's eating any uh, meat, dairy or eggs from the UK, she's supporting animal abuse, cruelty and slaughterhouses. All those animals are slaughtered, all of them are abused and uh, exploited and killed. So... 
She's just a massive hypocrite, double standard. Um, I don't know what she uses to justify eating animal products. I could be completely wrong, and she's she's a closet vegan or she eats plant-based now, um, but she's just not saying anything. Someone in the comment section, if Stacey is plant-based, I'll put an apology down here in the comment section. Stacey Dooley is actually eating nothing but plants and she's on a vegan lifestyle. Um, then I'll eat my words, but... It just doesn't sound like something a vegan would say. Um, we need to take life responsibly if we're going to take life. Like, she would just... Who knows? Hard to tell. But I don't have much confidence in her. The government wrote to us, saying, The spinal lance is not as effective on white-sided dolphins as they are smaller in size than pilot whales. The plan is to design a smaller spinal lance for dolphins, and this work has begun. Oh! Great, you're gonna you're going to just design a smaller murdering tool for the dolphins and problem solved. Problem solved. Hey? This is like what what um we do in Western slaughterhouses and we're like, oh what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a more ethical way to murder them and then it should be fine, hey? Hey, guess what? We now use a bolt gun. Now it's all fine, hey? Like murdering them's fine. Like, I know, I remember when the, the gas chamber footage was exposed, and they're like, we're going to find some more humane gas because they're suffering horrifically in there. No, you don't gas chamber animals. You don't shoot animals in the skull. Stop mass breeding and murdering animals. Uh, stop trying to find the right way to do the wrong thing. Stacey Dooley, I don't know what her current lifestyle is, but if she's eating animal products in any way, she's a massive hypocrite. If she's not, well done, Stacey. Just disregard that whole rant I did about you. Um... But here, comparing eating meat to the slave trade, the way she says it doesn't really do it justice. But if you, you can enslave animals, obviously. Animals are sentient beings. They desire freedom. You can enslave them. You can murder all of these beings and you can enslave all of these beings. And if you traded these slaves off, you essentially have a slave trade. You can, you can trade off human trafficking. You can trade off human slaves, whether they're children, white or black or Asian or Mexican, or, you know, you can uh, sell off slaves that are pigs and chickens and cows and fish as well. So yeah, cool story, bro, Stacey. Cool story, bro. So like, look at your position on what happens to those pilot whales. Stop trying to find humane ways of doing the wrong thing. Eradicate animal products out of your lifestyle. Uh, live vegan. Be consistent. Stop being a hypocrite. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.